Hey guys, if you want to support me, I don't have a Patreon, but check out my website, nightphoenixpress.com, and grab some of my awesome comic books and merch. Money supports me and helps create independent content. So go check out my site. If you want to be notified when Breakfast Club videos go up, remember to subscribe and click the bell. You say you want to try, but you never do. Sugar, there's a reason why we lose. You say you want to cry, but you never do. Sugar, there's a reason why we lose. Hey, guys. Even the masters, I am back <laughs> at uh, at least for today. I know it's been a while, and uh, want to say happy New Year's to everyone. I've been super busy working on my comic books and my films, and uh, that leads me to say this: uh, I will be taking my leave of the Breakfast Club, and uh, I wanted to let everybody know and to uh to make it kind of official uh i'm not going to uh, completely leave i will like <laughs> like many of us still kind of uh hang around and uh pop in and out every once in a while my absence was only supposed to be about a month or so and uh then i kind of got caught up in uh, everything and basically i've done a complete overhaul of uh, a lot of things including some of my books my website I still have to finish my finish editing my film and when I do that I'm going to be moving on to another film and uh, so things have just kind of been ramping up as well as I have a friend of mine who's got some third party work that he's going to be taking on he's interested in bringing me and on that as well so to be honest with you i'm not looking to uh turn away any money this year especially considering i'm going to be making several big pushes for various things that i'm working on uh you might even see some ads here on youtube so uh keep an eye open for that but you know that'll probably happen in the spring or uh spring or summer somewhere in there and uh i've just been keeping myself busy with everything mostly art related stuff though be uh, I bought a new drawing tablet uh, I did a video about that on my on my main channel I bought like this nice size drawing tablet uh, and it's just it's not a um, it's not a screen tablet it's just the regular pen tablets but it's huge it's like this it's this massive tablet uh, I got that and I really like uh, working with that uh, which is crazy because, as I say this, I'm actually going to be grabbing some drawing paper and uh, uh, finish up drawing some stuff on there. I have several comic books already laid out, and uh, I'm republishing some other ones. So if you guys jump over to uh, nightphoenixpress.com, you can see uh, I'm selling my older books for 250 And I'm also taking pre-orders for upcoming books. So... Uh, you may want to check that out as well. But before I go, I'd be remiss if uh, I didn't say something about uh, the all the videos that went up this week, or actually uh, last week, I, I would say. Uh, wow, just just uh, an amazing <laughs> an amazing group of videos, uh, and uh, I think. I think Sword Sage summed it all up perfectly in his video when he said, you have average people wondering what is really reality, what is truly reality. And uh, uh, you know, I enjoyed the uh, back and forth between uh, Brock Lawley and, uh, and Got That Funk, but I would say the ones that really stood out to me were the ones by Robert Wallace, Sword Sage, and Kazoom. Uh, those videos were really, really good. And I'm just going to piggyback off of everything <laughs> that's gone before this and say uh, there was a point where things made sense. 
you knew what you could say and what you couldn't say, or at least what you shouldn't say. You knew what the Republicans stood for. You knew what the Democrats stood for. You knew a man was a man and a woman was a woman. And uh, there are biological differences between them. And you could say that without worrying that someone would get mad at you. You could actually disagree with the feminist online and not worry about whether you would have a job the next day. You could actually discuss incredibly complex and controversial topics without someone claiming you were being radicalized by the right for an incredibly moderate opinion. Sometimes for even having a liberal opinion. But what was liberal five years ago is conservative and or alt-right now. A question that people have asked me is, why do you always talk about the far left when the far right has done all of these things? The reason is simply this. I'm an artist. And yes, the far right and the right, they do a lot of stuff. And they do a lot of shady stuff. The thing is, that stuff is usually called out. And people usually see it and say, hey, that's a bad thing you're doing. Stop doing that. But the far left is usually never called out, at least not by the mainstream media. They rarely get called out. They're called out here on YouTube <laughs> all the time. But realistically, they affect me more. I'm not afraid of Donald Trump. The Breakfast Club is not afraid of Donald Trump. Everyone here has spoken about Donald Trump in either a negative or positive way, but no one is afraid to mention this guy who's supposed to be this big, scary president who's going to round up all the minorities and send us back to whatever native land we, we came from. But the thing is, I'm not afraid of that guy because the guy doesn't really do anything but talk a lot of smack, get in trouble, doubles down, and causes a lot of headaches for the people around him and a lot of people in, in the country. But you know what? I'm not particularly afraid of him. I'm not afraid of him calling my employer and telling my employer that I did something wrong. I'm not afraid of him uh, creating a massive outrage that will destroy my career. I'm not afraid of him basically just deciding one day he doesn't like me and destroying my life. It's something I'm not afraid of. But a random blue hair girl on the internet could do just that. I'm afraid of that. I am afraid as an artist that something I might say or do that would piss no reasonable person off will piss her off or him God, God forbid you wouldn't want to assume anybody's gender. And, 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 and you don't, you don't want to say God either because that might also offend somebody. You, you never know how that's going to go. So, uh, God is forbid you assume anyone's gender. And there's a lot of people out there like me, people who in no way, shape or form like the far right, but we're scared to death of the far left. And it always amuses me that the far left have no idea why people don't like them. It's like the far right, they understand completely why people don't like them. They're assholes. They get it. They get it. They own that shit. The far left pretends like they're really great people and they just don't get why you wouldn't want to be one of them unless you were racist, sexist, and or homophobic. And remember, you can't just be one you have to be all. And God, oh, sorry. God is forbid that you said something that was politically incorrect 10 fucking years ago. You had 10 years to stew over some shit. And you're gonna bring it back up now because you're so oppressed, you have to go back 10 years to find something to be angry about. Please, please, don't forget to tweet at me about your oppression on your $800 phone that costs more than my fucking computer. Now, it may seem that everyone's lost their mind, but they haven't, okay? They haven't really done it. It's just the craziest people have the microphone. The craziest people are speaking the loudest 
and making the most noise and getting the most attention. And by doing so, it makes it seem as if they are the majority. When in fact, it's only about 20 of them and they just keep saying the same shit over and over and tweeting it out to their crazy friends and then their crazy friends come up and do the same shit. Don't think this is something that they don't do on the right. They're just more tactical about it. Whereas the left, they just do it to everybody because it's not like they have jobs or anything. It's why they have so much time to sit around online attacking random ass people. We are so segmented right now that there are dating sites popping up specifically for right-wing people. And if you're on any of the random dating sites, you probably have a harder chance to get a date if people think that you might be conservative. And I'm gonna tell you, the conservatives are gonna win this one. They're gonna win this one because of the fact that if you were conservative 10 years ago, you're probably still considered a conservative. If you were liberal five years ago, your ass better date a conservative. Cause if you ain't far left, you ain't getting laid. That's not true. I get the idea of people on the far left are easy, but that's not the point. It's not the point. The point is that we live in a crazy country that has no real reason for being crazy except a bunch of lunatics managed to get a platform and de-platform everyone else. And on top of that, the only other people who can speak and go against them are just as fucking crazy. What, what, what the hell? What, what is this? What, 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 what just happened between, I, I mean, I, okay, I know we had Obama and after Obama, someone just decided this airplane called America, let's just fly this bad boy right into the ground. And, and, and here's the thing, right? It wasn't the election of Donald Trump. I mean, it was, but it wasn't. But the overreaction to the fact that Trump got elected is ridiculous. If you're still pissed off that the chick you voted for didn't get in, grow the fuck up, okay? Grow up. It's over. 2020 is coming and no one's gonna vote for your candidate because your candidate is probably gonna be garbage. And this is where I'm gonna end. This is a, a message to the Democrats. If you want to win, get someone that makes some sense. Get someone that knows what the hell they wanna do, has an actual straight line agenda, a middle of the road person, a middle American, somebody that makes some sense. Somebody that says, Hey, I'm going to try to be fair for everyone, but I'm not going to go for the crazy shit. You get that person. I believe the majority of people will love that person and they will vote for that person. If you get someone who's halfway decent, doesn't grab chicks by the pussy and makes some damn sense. All right, guys, Nathan Brendan Masters, I bid you. A do. And and by the way, Dracula and Lady Bathory. If you're wondering who I'm drawing, it's Dracula, Lady Bathory. Ah. I don't know what you want. Let's have a bit of fun till I downfall. My love, if you feel like I do right now, don't say you're on the run to the other side.